Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about user order cancellation. So let's see how can we cancel order from user panel. You can see here, this is the order page of user. And if I click on uh, the details link, uh, just click on this details link. And here it's showing the order details. And you can see here the order items, uh, order summary, billing details, uh, shipping details and here it's showing the transaction details. Okay. Now inside this page, uh, let's create a link uh, for cancel the order. Okay. So switch to the project and let's open the user order details component view file. So just go inside the resources directory, then views, uh, live wire, user and uh, from here just open user order details uh, dash component or blade dot php file. This one. All right. And inside this file, uh, first of all, let's uh, display the order ID, order date, and order status. Okay. So before this row and inside this container, uh, let's add another row here. The row. All right. Now add here the column, column MD12. All right, and now inside this uh, div, let's add here the panel. So right here dot panel, panel default, then panel heading. So I'm just copying, uh, let's copy this uh, panel heading. So I'll just select uh, this panel heading and copy and paste here. Now change here the text order details all right and uh, uh, from here let's remove this link also remove the steve uh, let's select this text and uh, uh, remove this row okay and paste here mm. This remove all right order items all right and after this panel heading uh, let's add here panel body panel dash body and now inside this let's add here a table so simply write here table class class is equal to table then th and so here order ID, order ID, then ED, double curly bracket, dollar order, arrow ID. Alright, and now just copy this and paste here, change here the text, order date, okay, and uh, write here the column name created underscore add. And then so here the status status and order dollar arrow uh, dollar order arrow status okay and now add here the interactive dollar order arrow status is equal to delivered uh, delivered okay then so here delivery date okay delivery date and uh, also change here delivery Delivered date, okay. Delivered underscore date. Now add here else if else if dollar order arrow status is equal to cancel cancel then 
so here cancel date all right and also change here cancel date cancel date and after this just close here the if directive so right here if here all right now save this file and let's check this so switch to the browser and just to the page and now you can see here the order details order id order date status and you can see here the delivery date because this product has been delivered all right okay now here uh, let's add here the link for cancel the order okay so inside the details page uh, after this link let's create another link anchor tag href is equal to as then add here the class btn btn warning okay and also add the class full dash point okay and uh, add here a text cancel order all right now let's open the orders user order details component class file so just inside the app directory then http live wire user and from here just open user order details component.php file and inside this file let's create a function for cancel the order so right here public function and the function name uh, let's say function name is cancel order all right and now inside this function let's create an object of order so right here order is equal to model name order colon colon find and inside this, let's pass here uh, this property order underscore id. Okay, so for ac accessing this property, just right here, order this arrow order underscore id. All right, now order arrow status is equal to just right here cancelled. Okay, cancelled. And also set here the cancel date so order cancelled cancelled underscore date is equal to uh, set here the current date so write here db colon colon raw and inside this just pass here the current date in capital letter okay current underscore date and also import this db so here we try to use db all right illuminate supports facade slash db like this and after this just call here the save method order arrow save and now uh, return a message so inside the session session there the class method flash and set the key order underscore message and add here the message order has been cancelled all right now save this file now let's uh, call this function on this button click this button click okay so inside this link just write here wire colon click dot prevent is equal to this function name all right and also so this message so let's copy this key session key and uh, uh, before this uh, before this uh, panel uh, here let's display the message so right here at the rate first check the session hit session session has has this key order underscore message 
all right then just to display our, our alert message so right here view class is equal to alert uh, alert success and also set here the role alert alert this one and now just to display here the message so right here double curly bracket session column column get and add here the key order underscore message all right now here just close the interactive so right here end if all right now save this file okay and one more thing uh, uh, before this link uh, cancel order link let's add here a condition if uh, just add here the if if dollar order arrow status is equal to order okay if order status is equal to ordered then show this link okay or cancel the order otherwise add this link so after this just close here and all right if order status is equal to ordered then show this link otherwise hide this link so save this file and now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and here you can see it's not showing the link for cancel order because uh, the order has been already order and uh, delivered okay so let's check another order so just click on my orders and you can see here this is uh, the order id 44 you can see here the order status is ordered okay so let's check this this order so click on details and here you can see the link for cancel order okay uh, for uh, this link, let's add some padding here, uh, some margin here because uh, there is no any space between two links. Okay, so just add here uh, some style set. So simply write here a style is equal to margin right 20 pixel. Okay, and now let's check this. All right, now it's looking good. Now let's uh, try to cancel this order. So I'm just going to click here. Okay, so just click this link. And you can see here the order has been canceled and button is disappeared uh, from here. Okay. And now the status you can see here the canceled and you can see here cancel cancel date which is current date all right so in this way uh, you can cancel the order from the user panel so that's all about user order cancellation so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching